Well, how are you doing? Oh, this is so fun. I can't believe it. We all are, I think, at the same old YouTube fans. I love it. I just like really like the one. I'm like, please don't like nerd out on anybody. This is like the one, like. But I'm the a... I'm the same. I watch every episode at age 13 with my mom, sitting on the couch in Vancouver, watching all through season two, and like I can't believe any of this. None of it feels real. I would listen to the soundtrack driving to work for this. I'm like, I'm gonna wake up and be back in the Starbucks in Highland and Franklin. But this was a good dream. I still like. I, I can see Chelsea say that. No, I can't believe any of them because you have, you know, you have a lot of hard days as a character actor. But something like this will just give you wings for a long time. I mean, and then also just doing it that he's the coolest guy ever and never once disappoints you and, and empowers you and makes you feel great. Yeah, it's, we're truly living a dream. Yeah, so coming back to the show that you watched as a child, I watched it at my friend's house because I was in love oh, watching yeah. it, but oh, I, was, yeah. I was 12. Right? You tried talking yeah. to kids and tell them about what a VCR was, or yeah. you had to be home at 8 to watch <laughs> yeah. something, and it's another language. Yeah. I've never, I'm like, I feel so old, but... <laughs> But to be part of this fandom now and be yeah. part of the Lynch family that's with me this year. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe any of it. Yeah, it's all nuts. Yeah, and every day it was like a dream because I wasn't in the script. So he would just, okay, you're going to blurt out one or two little chuckles here. But then he would write out like the monologue for me as they were lighting the, and, and then he, he saw it and there was, don't worry, you can just have it right there and look down at it. You're just going to be talking to your mom. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're a great David Lynch. Yeah, you know, you're a really yeah. good David Lynch. Everyone here does. We all listen to Yeah, I was going to say, that's one thing that every single person, when we ask them, they all do a David Lynch voice. Oh, oh yeah. That's a really good one. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would question anyone here that does it. Because you just listen to him, and he's the most fascinating guy ever, and you're just picking up his things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is, is he any different, like, in person than he is, like, when you see him doing interviews? And, is he, like, just like that all the time? All the time. <laughs> and, like, so full of love. And if you were here right now, you all would just be, like, it's like, kind of like the Maharishi or something. I don't know how to explain it. Everyone sounds hypnotized during a cult. But you deal with so many people that aren't that kind and loving. <laughs> so he really makes a difference. And I think that also explains why he gets the performances and why people are willing to do the crazy stuff he asks them to do because, you know, he's empowering them to do so. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever spent time yourself delving into the fan theories and all the questions? I mean, there's this whole Wikipedia page oh, that's really yeah. dedicated to just the burning questions and like, all that. Uh, well, I had a guy tell me yesterday that the three Fuscos are supposed to be Dougie, Agent Cooper, and Mr. C. And I'm clearly Dougie. I'm like, oh, all right. I get it. Someone's got to be the dumb one. But that one excited me because I had not, I had not heard that. But I, it's because I have a ton of theories, and I'll even tell them to, like I think Robert, the woodsman, I think he really is Abraham Lincoln. I think if the nuke goes off, for every good thing you have, you then have to have the universe. So imagine an evil Abraham Lincoln leading those marauder. It's terrifying, but I think he really, there's a re he always plays Abraham Lincoln. And so I think he really is Lincoln. So I, it's terrifying to think of that. Yeah, that but that's is. my theory. I got him. I feel like when you go down the rabbit hole, you do oh. not come back out. <laughs> it's so fun. That's yeah. why it's kind of a gift that he doesn't answer questions. Yeah. Because if he went, no, that's not Lincoln, Eric, then that stops this. But instead, I can sit here and be like, it's Lincoln, guys. And we all get to have this <laughs> yeah. debate that's alive that if he were like every other director, it's like, no, yes, no, that was about my uncle. Then we wouldn't have this. Instead, we kind of get this sacred mystery. Yeah. No, that's what I, I mean. That's what I love about all of this. It's like there is no like. No, it's like, not. That's what makes it beautiful. It's like. Oh yeah, yeah. and I think it's because I'm simple. I just kind of roll with it. Like I'll hear people talk about Lost Highway, and well, yeah, but this didn't make sense. And I'm like, I think I'm just simple. It made sense to me, and I just kind of loved yeah. it. And that's what he wanted it to be. Yeah. And Lost Highway, Robert Loggia, Robert Blake. Lost Highway. Terrifying. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Do you guys know the story how Robert Loggia got cast? No. no. Oh, it's the best. He didn't. He auditioned to play Frank Booth, and then at that time he was in there, they found Dennis Hopper, 
And so they didn't tell Robert Lozier, and he's sitting there for like 45 minutes. And then they went and told him, and not even lunching, you can go home. And he's like, what? Where's that director? So he went to, you motherfucker, you know, I've been plenty of years in fucking. His exact thing that's in Lost Highway <laughs> of him screaming, pulling a guy out of the car is he cussed him out in audition. Oh my gosh. No, it's amazing. That's a horrifying scene in the film. Imagine that in a casting office. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 Yeah. If you can see, I'm so in. I mean, it would probably be because I've read all the books. That would be amazing. You just talk about him and Mark Frost doing meeting up to do the Marilyn Monroe book. We were meeting up at Dupar's, and they closed the Valley location now, which is a tragedy. So kids, they close. I was like. So oh, I was there all the time. I know, me too. I live in, I'm a Valley. proud San Fernando Valley yeah. resident. I love it. I know. I was. I'm it's so be a sad. Stupid Sephora. I'm like. Is it a Sephora? Yeah, they're making it a Sephora. The Dupe Park no. Studios. Yeah. Hey, Paradise. They put up a parking lot. I know. Yeah. So I know. Yeah. 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 I know.